Hi everyone and welcome back to the Snake Neck series. I'm Marcos Morgan and I will be your host today. And today we will introduce the concept of config file. But why do we need a config file in the first place? So far we learned how to pass different input files to generate output files using wildcards and how to pass parameters to a rule. However, things can get complicated fast. What happens, for example, if for each input file we want a specific value for the rule parameter? Well, a good way to encode all this granularity is to use config files. Let's dive into it and look at a concrete example. Let's start with a rule that we will name rule select. The rule takes a tabulated file and returns a file with only one of the columns of the original file specified by the parameter. In this case, it will be the second column. When we launch the pipeline, the rule is run, the output file is generated, and the output file only contains the second column of the original file as expected. Now let's use wildcards and rule all to request multiple files from rule select. We do it this way. In this case, we will keep the parameter for the column number fixed since we want the same column for both files we are passing. In this case, column two. When we launch the pipeline, the rule select is run twice. Both requested files are generated and each file consists of the second column of the original file. Now what happens if the column we want to select depends on the input file? For example, file sample C might have swap columns two and three. So in this case, we would like to pass three as the column parameter for the function. To specify what columns need to be open for each file, we can use a config file. Config files are written in YMAL, that is a format to specify data with complex relationships. Here we will specify the samples and the relevant column as follows. Once we save the config files, we need to pass it to the snake file. We do it in this way. We then call the sample variable from the config file and define a function to assign specific parameters to each input file. Now we launch the pipeline and rule select is run three times. When the file sample B is given as input, column 2 is given as a parameter. Instead, when the file sample C is given as input, column 3 is given as a parameter. Well, that's it for this video. So far, we've been using mostly the shell command. In the next video, I would like to show you how to use R in combination with SnakeMake. So I will see you there and don't forget to subscribe.